Now, New York's number one news, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. A deadly shooting on the subway, the MTA's first homicide of 2024 this afternoon. We are learning the victim was simply trying to break up a fight. All eyes on Iowa today, where voters there will caucus to pick the state's Republican presidential candidate as the race for the White House officially begins. And honoring the life and everlasting legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Events today all across the tri-state to remember the civil rights icon. And good afternoon, I'm David Navarro. I'm Shirley Nalakat in for Sandra today. We are going to get to those stories in just a minute, but we do want to begin with the weather. It is a frigid day out there today as temperatures dip below freezing. Hello, winter, but that's not all. Oh, We're yeah. tracking an AccuWeather alert. Snow headed toward our area, and it could end with more than 700 days. It could end the more than 700 days snowless streak in New York City. Could it be? Let's get our first look <laughs> at the forecast with meteorologist Brittany Bell. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to end that streak. So the colder air really setting the stage. Snow for most of us, but spots north and west of the city have a better chance of seeing isolated higher amounts closer to four inches once all is said and done. That's why we already have a winter weather advisory for most of the tri-state area, and that could lead to some slick spot slick spots on roads as you head back to work tomorrow morning. Right now on satellite and radar, it's still dry, but we have mostly cloudy skies. Clouds continue to increase. Zooming out, this colder air behind the front already sparking widespread snow across the mid-south. Snow still falling. Across Across northern Mississippi, Tennessee, even Kentucky. We'll be watching the Gulf Coast as an area of low pressure develops late tonight. That will swing out to the northeast, tapping into some of that colder air, bringing us some snow tomorrow. But let's look at the timing throughout this afternoon. Dry, mostly cloudy. Future cast, cast trying to hint at an isolated snow shower well south of the city around 4 to 5 p.m. But most of that snow starts to push in later on tonight between around 8 to 11 p.m. with the snow moving in from south to north and that spreads all across to try state through early tomorrow morning. But snow tapers off tomorrow afternoon. I'll have a closer look at the timing hour by hour for the rest of tomorrow coming up. Charlene, David. All right, thanks so much, Brittany. Stay with Eyewitness News for the latest on the winter weather. We're going to stay on top of it overnight and bring you team coverage starting earlier at 4 a.m. tomorrow on Eyewitness News this morning. We have new details in a deadly shooting on a subway train last night in Crown Heights, Brooklyn. Witnesses told police the man who was shot and killed was trying to break up a fight over loud music on the train, and that's when one of the men involved in that fight opened fire. Eyewitness News reporter Reagan Meji with more. Brittany. And clouds continue to build in this afternoon with temperatures barely rising above the freezing mark hitting 33. Also closer to sunset, we'll have that first wave of snow falling across southern Ocean County that moves in from south to north this evening through tomorrow. So an AccuWeather alert for periods of snow on Tuesday, one to three inches possible. Wednesday drying out 29, 34 on Thursday. Another chance for more snow on Friday. We fall to the 20s this weekend. Oh boy, tomorrow's morning's commute is not going to be mm, fun. Mm -mm. Thanks. That's going to do it for this edition of Eyewitness News. I'm David Navarro. I'm Shirley Nalik. Now for Brittany and the entire Eyewitness News team, thank you for watching. Make sure you're back this afternoon for Eyewitness News First Before.